The current flowing inside this series circuit, which is I, which is also a function of time. Hello guys, I hope you're doing great. In this video, I'll be explaining to you some uh, series circuits and the differential equation for a RC circuit. For example, we have an RC circuit. There is a resistor and there is a capacitor, both connected to each other using a voltage source, which is also called an EMF. So here we are uh, denoting this EMF source, electromotive force source as E of T. E is the EMF or the voltage and T is the uh, time. So the voltage is a function of time. This is the value of this resistance R and this is the value of this capacitor C. There is a current flowing inside this uh, series circuit which is I which will be the same in all the elements. It is also a function of time. There is a charge uh, which is stored on this capacitor which is also a function of time and we are calling, uh, we are naming this charge as Q and it's a function of time so we are writing this as Q of T. So if you go to uh, physics, you, you will find out that there is something which is called the Kirchhoff's voltage law. And what it does is it allows us to add all the voltages, the voltage across this element, this element and this element together. And, uh, you know, use that to solve for different parameters. So I'm using the Kirchhoff's voltage law and I'm writing the equation. The voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the capacitor equals to the electromotive force or the EMF source. So VR can be translated to current using the Ohm's law IR and uh, the capacitor voltage can be translated to the charge which is a function of time divided by the capacitance C and E of T can be uh, written just like this over here unless it is known there is a value of it. I can be translated using dq by dt so I am going to write r dq by dt and this q is also a function of time but I, for the sake of brevity I am using only q and here I am also going to write only q equal to e of t right so this will be the differential equation which we will be using to solve problems related to series rc circuit right so let's uh, go and do an uh, an example so this is exercise 3.1 problem number 31 the problem states that a 100 volt electromotive force so i'm going to write e of t equal to 100 the units uh, are v volts is applied to an series rc circuit to an rc circuit which is a series circuit in which the resistance is 200 ohms and the capacitance is 10 raised to the power minus 4 farads. So the question is find Q of T, the equation for Q of T, if the initial value of charge was 0. The initial charge on the capacitor was 0. So let's do only this part of the problem. Um, so what I can do is I can use this differential equation. And I can simply substitute the values in this in this differential equation. So R is 200, so 200 dQ by dt plus Q divided by C, which is now 10 raised to the power minus 4, equal to E of t, which is 100. So we are done. So the first rule of solving linear differential equations using vari variation of parameters was that we get rid of the coefficient of the highest term. Uh, in the differential equation. So I'm going to divide all the equation by 200 and I'm going to write this 10 is per minus 4 as 1 0 0 0 0 on in the numerator because now uh, in the numerator the power will be positive. In the denominator I'm going to write 200 on the right hand side I'm going to again divide, it, divide the thing by 200. <laughs> So these two zeros cancel with these two zeros and this two cancels with 100 and I get 50. So I am going to write dq by dt plus 50q equal to, so here also I get 1 over 2. So I have to solve this differential equation in which p of t, because uh, you if you remember we wrote the equations like this dq by dt plus p of t q equal to uh, f of t this was the standard form so uh, comparing this equation with the standard form we can uh, immediately see that 50 will be p of t so now i am going to write the integrating factor 
which is e to the power integral p of t dt. So the integrating factor for this equation will be e to the power integral 50 dt. Right, so we can integrate the power here and we'll get 50 t. Right, so we have the integrating factor and the second step in this uh, method was that you multiply all of this equation with the integrating factor. So I'm going to write e to the power 50 t into dq by dt plus 50 q equal to 1 over 2. So the left hand side immediately becomes the derivative of the integrating factor and the dependent variable which in this case is q. The right hand side simply gets the product of whatever f of t was and p of t. Right? This was the next step and the next step further to this was that you integrate on both sides to get rid of this d by dt but instead of doing that what we do is we take this dt from the left hand side to the right hand side and now we will integrate right then it will make more sense so on the left hand side we get e to the power 50 t into q and on the right hand side we get the integral of all of this so i'm going to write down that over there so we get 1 over 2 e to the power 50 t divided by 50 plus c so now i'm going to keep q on the left hand side and i'm going to divide the rest of the equation with this factor so 1 over 100 because 2 and 50 are being multiplied over here this e to the power 50 t will be cancelled with e to the power 50 t but on the second term it will be reflected over here so now what do i do i try to find the value of c so before we do that i would like to write this as 1 over 100 plus c e to the power minus 50 t so you should remember that the initial value of charge on the capacitor was given to be zero so if that is the case we can use this into the general solution that we just found out and i'm going to write q of zero equal to zero equal to now this is the right hand side instead of small t here I'm going to insert the value 0 because this 0 denotes time and this 0 denotes the charge at that time. So this time will be 0, right? Okay, so on the right hand side I get 1 over 100 plus c e to the power minus 50 into 0. So I get uh, minus 1 over 100 equal to c e to the power 0. So it shows the value of c is minus 1 over 100. So I'm going to substitute this value over here in the general solution. So I get q equal to 1 over 100 minus 1 over 100 e to the power minus 50 t. This is the solution for uh, q of t. You can actually write on the left hand side q of t and if someone asks what is the value of charge after one second so you just in, uh, substitute a one instead of this t and you're going to get a value of charge in coulombs from this equation so this was uh, another application of first order linear differential equations and we solved it using uh, the linear equation methods or uh, method of uh, variation of parameters i hope you like this video uh, subscribe to stay in touch and i hope to see you in the next video thanks